In a world where everyone masters magic, a young boy named Will had the dream of becoming a great sorcerer, but unfortunately Will did not have magic and amidst the teasing and cold looks of his classmates and instructors Will felt useless, but even so he continued to fight to make his dream come true even though he had to wield a sword as the only warrior in a world of wizards who aimed to achieve the whole of the magical world. In order to fulfill the promise he made to a special girl and before continuing he is already leaving his registration to help with our goal of 2000 subscribers and he does not forget to like and comment a lot that this helps me a lot to continue with the daily videos but let's go to the video rigardon's magic academy was the place where magical talent was valued above all but a boy with no aptitude was looking for a way to advance in the academy and for that he visited the dungeon every day and even without being able to use magic he eliminated the monsters with his solitary sword and one day during a class Professor Edward called Will insistently since he was distracted, but after getting his attention he asked the boy to create a flame with his catalyst and questions his delay. After all it was an easy exercise, and even with a lot of insistence Will can't make everyone laugh, while the teacher said it was unfortunate to think that they had a student who was unable to use even magic anymore, but this was expected from a theoretical student who was only good for taking notes and had no salvation and a boy summons his flames creating the demonstration expected by Edward, who asks Mr. Shown to restrain himself not to do anything without permission, and he replies mockingly, that he only wanted to help him since Will did not seem to be in his best shape, and so the teacher concludes his explanation, after all in this world magic would be absolute supremacy beyond authority, and the strength of magic would be pure power, after all the heroes of all were magicians and in this. Academy the only thing that mattered would be their talent for magic, and a talentless one who has theoretical knowledge, but cannot perform even a bit of magic should not remain in these halls that gave rise to the wise and the foolish dreamers who do not know their limits should withdraw. And after class, Shaun and his classmates start teasing Will and Shaun asks if he wasn't ashamed to go to the dungeon to eliminate weak monsters in search of credits, but Colette tells him to stop it and says that Will was kinder than him, in addition to being the hardest so he wouldn't allow him to insult his friend, making the boy laugh by saying that kindness and hard work are not would make no one a great wizard and besides Will's dream of becoming a magic vander was something unattainable. And when he leaves he says to listen to the teacher and give up the academy. But Will and Colette start walking and the girl tells him not to listen to the boy and there was certainly something wrong with the teacher who made him a laughing stock, which Will didn't care about, after all he really couldn't use magic but he considered himself lucky to have a beautiful girl like her worried about him, making the girl embarrassed and she says that these flatteries wouldn't take him anywhere and questions if he said that to everyone making the boy apologize and he explains that since he was little they taught him to praise girls while his praise echoed in the girl's head who is embarrassed and she thinks that a daughter of a noble family, even if only in name could not lose her composure in this way and notices while watching the sky and he says that the day was beautiful what the girl agrees and when looking at the sky she says that the most powerful wizards the magic vander continued to defend the heavens making will. Remember that a long time ago people knew nothing about the heavens and lived trapped in the darkness of a world terrorized by the celestial invaders but five wizards changed the history of the world and together they repelled the invaders by casting a seal in the sky that brought peace to the world and became known as the Magic Vanders, which in the future became a title transmitted only to the strongest and something desired by everyone and Colette asks if he thought that the wand of the Ice Maiden Albiz Vina was also taken care of. Everyone which will confirms and says that for sure she would be sitting near a window looking at them and remembers her past with her friend Elferia where they talked about the sun and the moon and the girl said about the beauty of the red color that could be seen during the sunset in another place, and if one day, they get as close to the sky at the top of the tower becoming Magic Vander, maybe they will be able to see the sunset, and in this way they promised to do it together, but unfortunately. It was nothing more than an innocent childhood promise, but Elferia's potential was real, and with her talent, she became the youngest to win the title of Magic Vander, and left for the top of the tower, while Will who had no talent became mediocre, but was unable to give up the promise they made and to fulfill his dream of staying by Elferia's side he kept fighting. And later his teacher Workner scolded him for going to the dungeon without permission, and to make matters worse he went to the seventh floor alone. But anyway he would give him two credits for the creatures he defeated leaving the boy to fight, while the teacher asked if he still hasn't given up on becoming a magic vander, and will questions if this would be wrong and Workner says that before climbing the tower it was necessary to advance to the higher institute and for that he needed a lot of credits in writing, spells and praxis, and as he could not use magic, he would never earn sorcery credits and WAL replies that this would be the reason he was focused on praxis collecting credits in the dungeon. But the professor reminds him that he has said it several times, 
but advancing only with Praxis was effectively impossible especially for someone who does not know how to use magic, but still the boy he wanted to try. So the teacher scolds him again, because there was no point in thinking. About being a magic vander if his graduation was at risk, because he didn't get any credit in the recent exams, which meant that he needed to earn four credits by the weekend. Leaving the boy desperate for missing only two days and starts frantically looking in his notes for the monsters that gave four credits and the teacher says that he was just talking to himself, and there were some reports of a Baskerville that was worth four credits on the sixth floor, and apparently a certain theoretical student. Still hasn't defeated any leaving while so excited that he runs to hug the professor, while in the background, Shaun listened to the conversation of the two and decides to go after the monster, so that he could get rid of that one without talent. And that night Will and Kiki went to the dungeon and the boy was confident because he had fought a Baskerville before, although Kiki has bad memories, but ahead Shaun and his classmates were preparing to take care of the monster before the failed, so that he is expelled for lack of credits, although one of them questioned if this was really safe, making Will uncomfortable. But the other boy changes his focus, after all Shaun was from the elite, and when he walks again he thinks that in this world a guy who didn't know how to use magic shouldn't talk about Vander magic, and even his presence annoyed him. But he ends up being surprised when a monster throws his friend's body away with just one punch, making his other friend scream in fear, which catches the attention of Will, who runs worried that someone is being attacked and comes across an evil sentinel, a 10-credit monster that should live in the depths of the dungeon and in addition, the one who was terrified. Sirius Shaun who desperately attacks the monster and Will notices that his magic had no effect on the creature and for sure he wouldn't have the slightest chance so he should help him but Will hesitates and wonders if he really had the obligation to save him after having mocked him so many times humiliating him in front of everyone, so he should just run away, but Will hears Elferia's voice echoing in his chest and he remembers when she told him that she knew he was someone kind and the bravest of all and gave him those glasses that he carried with him despite believing that she was wrong since all he wanted was to be by her side to be worthy of her and he was nothing more than a normal and shameful guy. And when Shaun was about to be eliminated Will holds the creature's blow and says that because of that it would become a lone sword and Edward runs to Workner worried about Shaun and his group who went to the dungeon without permission, then asks the professor to use his familiar to find him leaving Workner worried. He asks which floor the boy had gone and Edward replies that he would be the sixth which leaves the professor calm and says that in that case it would not be necessary, after all Will was there and uses his magic in a crystal ball that shows the boy battling fiercely against the creature cutting him without hesitation and dodging its crushing blows and with his absurd speed, Will strikes the monster, making Shaun wonder what that was and if that would really be the same Will, leaving even Edward without believing what was seeing, and Workner tells him that Will was a true irregular, who possessed the superhuman strength that a wizard would never possess in addition to a physique as robust as a dwarf's and above all his intuition to understand the strategies of an enemy, after seeing them only once was unmatched and Will rips off the monster's arm, while the professor continued to say that it could be true that he could not use it magic. But nevertheless, in this world full of magic, he was the only warrior who, with a stroke of his sword, was able to overcome even lightning, and with the sword of the monster himself, will cuts his puff and eliminates him. And after the combat he goes to Shaun and asks if he had been hurt leaving the boy furious and Edward is outraged because he considers it impossible he could not tolerate that someone who cannot use magic had managed to overcome him and the next day, Will takes the remains of the teacher's monster, who gives him 10 credits leaving the boy excited, and so we start the story of the boy who would turn the world upside down down a story about the union between wand and sword. And in this way we end the first episode. Thank you very much to those who stayed here and don't forget that little help with your like, registration and sharing. Thank you and see you next time.